Remember that day when we all went looking for mushrooms? I never went looking for mushrooms. Yeah, that day when we had such a great time, and then we went swimming in the lake. Now I remember. That was an awesome day. Another day that was really fun was when we thought there was a lion hidden in the bushes, but it ended up being Alfred snoring. ground and a precious little turtle was born. That was really fun playing mother to that little turtle for a little while. The egg is right over here. It looks like an egg from a small animal. It looks like a dinosaur egg to me. No way. It came from a cow. It looks like an ostrich egg to me, but I'm not sure. Given my vast experience in the field of animal science, I can deduce that this egg is from... It's moving! Now you'll see there's a cow Look, inside! A leg! And another leg! They're so pretty! How adorable! Oh, I love this! Careful! Oh, Look how careful. fast it moves! Don't step on it! Oh. Oh. to her. Her mommy came to get her and they left together. Well, I remember the first day I met Alfreda. She was so pretty. You fell in love with her right away. <laughs> I would say it was love at first sight. Alfred, a little dog just like you. She could be your girlfriend and you could get married and have little puppies. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, friends. I see that you've brought back my sheep. Thank you. You have all been very kind. They've been very nice to me. And I promised Alfred that I would reward him with a kiss. If you'd like, I can give him one. Good afternoon. It looks like they've fallen in love. How beautiful. For me, a really special day was when nobody paid attention to me and I thought you all forgot about my birthday and then found out that you all planned a big surprise for me. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Milo. Happy birthday to you. Yay! <laughs> What's all this? <laughs> I thought that you all had forgotten about my birthday. <laughs> I'm so happy that I almost feel like crying. Happy birthday, Milo. Here is my present. And this one is mine, a cake for everybody. And this is my gift. Happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday, Milo. Thank you all for making this the best birthday of my life. Now everyone, time Yay! to celebrate! Yay! 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 <laughs> and helping the bee to collect pollen was really great, too. Actually, I would say that it was awful. Milo said the bee wouldn't hurt me. But if he stings me, I'll be mad. Maybe it's better when he gets here that I put my hand down so he doesn't come near me. 
But if I do that, he may get mad at me. That bee will sting me for sure. I think I better just run when he gets here. He's almost here. I'm so scared. I'm out of here on the count of one, two, three. Ah! A bee! I'm so happy that we're friends and we're able to share so many experiences together. I feel the same way, with many more to come. That's right, Talalo. A cheer for the Hoppets! Hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! <laughs> hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! <laughs> this is Skunk. What a beautiful day. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, good company. Yeah, I could spend hours here not doing a single thing. Oh, the fragrance of flowers, the freshly cut grass. Oh, this field is so relaxing. Yeah, it smells like a sea of flowers. It smells like strawberries, like lemons. Well, I smell... <clears throat> I smell... <clears throat> something stinky. Rita, why do you say that? Don't act so innocent. You could have told me about it sooner. Told you what? Come on, Moo Moo. We're the only ones here. It was smelling nice. And suddenly a stink bomb goes off. It's clear that you have let out some stinky air. Ugh! It does smell bad, but I didn't do it. Not only are you stinky, but you're also a liar. Rita, it wasn't me. So it's clear that the one who let out a stinky smell had to be you. Enough with the talk. It's smelling worse and worse, and it's becoming unbearable. Hello, good morning. Mrs. Skunk, excuse me, but are you the one who smells so bad? Well, pardon me, yes. Yes, it is me. I just can't help it. You could take a shower every morning. It wouldn't matter. I always smell like this. Well, I'm leaving. It smells awful. Yeah, me too. See you later. But it's not my fault. <sighs> My whole life, everyone around me runs away, and I don't have any friends. <sighs> Achoo. Achoo. <sighs> I have a terrible cold. Hello. Hello, Mrs. Skug. How are you? Beautiful day, isn't it? <sighs> I'm a little sad. You see, everyone runs away from me because of my smell. Well, you don't have to worry about me, because I've got such a bad cold, my nose is all stuffed up. And I can't smell a thing, so we can go and play. You want to play with me? I've never played ball. Well, today's your lucky day. I will be right back with a ball. Hi, Boo Boo. Huh? <laughs> Hi, Milo. Do you know where the ball is? Yes, it's on the other side of the balcony. Who's he going to go play ball with? I don't know. Who are you going to play ball with? With Mrs. Skunk. But you can't. She smells bad. Yes, really foul smelling. She stinks. I know that. But since I got such a bad cold that can't smell anything, I'm going to go play with her. Yeah, but then later, you and the ball will smell bad too. When will you ever grow up, Moo Moo? But I'm just as tall as he is. He's talking about you being more mature and not such a child. Hmm, I want to go play ball too. That was a really great throw. 
You haven't seen a thing. Look how many times I can bounce the ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're really good at bouncing the ball, Mrs. Skunk. I want to play with the ball, too. Yeah, but I don't think I can handle this smell. It smells awful. He's lucky that since he has a cold, he can't tell how bad Mrs. Skunk really smells. There is a way that we can all go play with the ball. There is no way I can handle that awful smell again. This is what we'll do. If we put clothespins on our noses, we won't be able to smell a thing. And that way we can play with Milo and Mrs. Skunk. What a great idea, Alfred. Uh-huh. But doesn't it hurt a lot to put something on your nose? Mine's really sensitive. You need to decide if you want to stay here all by yourself or come with us and play ball. Come on, Rita, I'll put your clothespin on. All right. Ouch! That really hurts! Now I'll put one on you, Boo Boo. Ouch! Yes, it does hurt. <laughs> what one has to do to play ball. Everyone got their clothespins? Let's go play! Hey there, friends. I see that you have changed your minds. Can we play with you guys? That would be up to Mrs. Skunk to decide. Well, of course you can. Everybody, come and play. Milo, thank you for playing with me. You have made me really happy. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand what's taking them so long to get here. It had to be on the day I prepared a surprise, and now nobody shows up. Hmm. They'll be here soon. Talolo! I'm so glad to see you. How you doing? I see. So, is everything fine? It's been a long time since we talked about what good friends we are and all. I think that you are one of my best friends. I'm so glad to see you. By the way, where is everybody else? I've got something to celebrate and want everybody else to be here with me. Hello, Olga. Where are you going in such a rush? Tell everyone to come quick. I've got something important to tell you all. Olga, please don't go. What's up with Olga? She always stops to talk to me, and today it's as if she didn't even see me. Hi, Mumu. I'm so glad to see you. Can you stop for a minute? I've got something really important to tell you. I'm in a big hurry. I can't stop and talk right now. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Mumu, listen to me. I've got something to... I don't know what's going on, but I don't like this one bit. Hey, here comes Alfred. I'll ask him. Hi, Alfred. Alfred? Alfred? Alfred! Don't you run off too. Talalo, today's a very special day for me, and nobody wants to be here with me. I am so tired. Hi, Rita. I'm so glad to see you. How you doing? Didn't you just hear me? I'm very tired. All day running from here to there, without breathing, without stopping. That's great, Rito. I'm so happy that you're here next to me. I've tried talking with everybody, and they're acting crazy, going all over the place and ignoring what? me. What? Uh, how? Uh, where? Uh, I forgot something. Uh, where did everyone go? Well, Mumu over there, Olga over there. I don't know. Everybody went somewhere different. Oh, well, I'm going to go this way. See you. Now I really don't get it. Today is my birthday, and I wanted to celebrate it with all my friends, but they're all too busy doing their own things. Look what I've prepared. A big old snack with all kinds of candies. Now I'll have to eat it all alone. Hi, Talalo. How's Milo? Does he have any idea that we're throwing him a party? 
Poor Milo. He thinks that we've forgotten about his birthday. But when he sees the cake we made for him and all the nice presents we've made for him, he's going to be speechless. The cake is ready, and it turns out perfect. And I made him a bag where he can keep all his things. I made him a really nice wooden flute, which I've been working on for two months. I know he's really going to like well, it. Well, I... Well, I... Well, I actually forgot about my present. I had so many things in my head that I didn't remember. We can't let that happen. We need to make him something in less than two minutes. Something clever and that he'd like a lot. I feel terrible for not having remembered. What a bad friend I am. Don't you worry, Alfred. You'll see that we'll come up with something quick. I've got it! Why don't we give him a drum? And how do we make a drum in two minutes? Leave it to me. I'll be right back. I just need uh -huh. two wooden sticks, an empty tin, rubber balls, and two balloons. I put the balls on the ends of the uh -huh. sticks like this, and I've got the oh. drumsticks. Uh -huh. ah. Now I stretch a balloon on one end of the tin and the other on the oh. other end. And now it's ready. Oh. I'm so clever. Now I just need to hear how it sounds. The drum is ready. Now we just have to put it in a box and we've got a present. Rita. You're the best! You've saved me from looking like a bad friend! Yay! Well, since nobody's coming, I'll have to eat the snack by myself. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Milo! Happy birthday to you! <laughs> What's all this? <laughs> I thought that you all had forgotten about my birthday. <laughs> I'm so happy that I almost feel like crying. Happy birthday, Milo! Here is my present. And this one is mine, a cake for everybody. And this is my gift. Happy birthday! Happy, happy birthday, Milo! Thank you all for making this the best birthday of my life. Now everyone, time Yay! to celebrate! Yay! 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 <laughs> Yay! <laughs>